It's Taco Tuesday again on Left Off The Map and I'm not doing a taco, but I am doing a Mexican inspired dish. I'm doing Mexican or sweet chili beans on toast. So it's a good breakfast dish or a brunch dish for, brunch dish for the weekend. And the good thing is our black beans and sweet chili are ready to go. So it's just a matter of coming up with some things to go with that. The first thing I wanna do, well, I'm, I'm serving mine with asparagus and a fried egg. Um, I'm gonna use my tomatoes and my onion to make a bit of a, a sugo or a base um, for our beans to go into. So that's the first thing I'm gonna get onto. I'm gonna saute my onion with a little bit of garlic and some de-seeded Roma tomatoes and make a base sugo. And then my beans will go onto that sugo. That's my, for lack of a better word, my sugo done. And sugo is just a basic tomato sauce. It's probably closer to a sofrito, which is onion, garlic, tomato cooked down. But that's, that's the base of my, turn that off. That's the base of my sauce that my black beans are going to go into. So we'll pop our black beans in now. Now black beans do have a sauce in them. We've got a sweet chilli sauce, obviously, that's what it says on the packet. But that's gonna go really well with our tomato base. We'll pop those in. Now I just wanna heat this bean mixture through. I'm gonna add in some fresh parsley. And asparagus is one of those things, I think, until you've had asparagus raw, you don't understand how delicious asparagus is. It's really fresh. Um, it's almost, it tastes like green, it tastes like garden peas. So fresh potted peas, I think, when you have it fresh. So I'm gonna chop that quite fine, and that's gonna go on at the end of the dish. So my parsley is gonna go in there now. I've got a handful of flat leaf parsley. So we're not gonna cook this too much more. I don't want this parsley to wilt too much. I want it to stay nice and fresh. So probably just a little gentle heat on that to warm those beans through. And then that'll be done. I can move that off to the side and get ready to cook my egg. Parsley in. All right, we'll give this a try. It's nice and sweet. That sweet chilli is definitely there. It's more sweeter than it is chillier. I don't know if that is a word, but that should make sense to you. So there's not a huge amount of heat, but there's a nice sweetness to it. So my bean mixture is done. I'm happy with that. Asparagus out ready. My egg's good. I need to get my toast ready as well. So I want to cut some sourdough. Two pieces. I'm going to cook these in a little bit of oil in a fry pan and then I'll use that fry pan to finish my egg off. Griddle pan will work perfectly. Pop that on the heat. On top of my sourdough, drizzle a little bit of oil. All right. Cover nicely with oil, turn it over, oil on the other side, into our griddle pan till we get some char marks or some bar marks on it, and then that can come out. While that's cooking, I can get my asparagus ready, and then it's all gonna come together. My beans are done. I added a little bit of parsley to that just at the end to keep it nice and fresh. My egg is like 30 seconds away from being finished. My toast is ready to go. I've got some nice bar marks on that, which is what I wanted from that griddle pan. I'm gonna finish with my fresh asparagus on top, a little bit of lemon juice, some olive oil and salt. So we're ready to go. Like I said, this is a great brunch dish. So I think it's 11 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. You're hungry. People always wonder, how do you get the top of the egg to cook at the same time as the bottom of the egg? If you put a lid on top of that, the steam that gets caught on the inside will circulate around and you'll cook the top of the egg. 
Or, if you've got a blowtorch, you can just blowtorch the top of the egg, which is what I'm gonna do. So that little bit of heat from the top will set that protein and you'll end up with a set egg. All right, time to bring it together. Our beans. A great mixture of sweet chilli, our base tomato, onion and garlic. Some nice corn in there. It's got that nice sort of chilli or sweet, I should probably say sweet more than chilli flavour, which I love. So you want a good covering of that over all of your sourdough. And our egg can come out. We'll pop our egg on top. Like so. Asparagus, I'm just gonna put it on raw and then I'm gonna dress it once it gets on there. So I've shaved asparagus on the side. And I've left, instead of cutting all the way down to the spears, I've actually left the spears so that sort of, you've got those whole asparagus spears that you can sit around. Now, I'm just dressing my uh, asparagus here. So a little bit of lemon juice over my asparagus, a pinch of salt over everything. And then, drizzle of olive oil over our asparagus and then over everything. I love black pepper on eggs and I love black pepper with asparagus, so good pack of black pepper. So that's it, a great way to start a Sunday, I think. My beans, sweet chilli and toast. Now we're gonna go join Henry Terry on the east coast of Tasmania. He's catching up with the people who own Fraser Marine Farm. He's gonna learn a little about marine farming. 